In the 70s, I had a, a button all wore my jacket that said, uh, Palestine lives. That's important. It was a good slogan yeah, yeah, good. in the 70s in the struggle. It's appropriate today, given what's gone on in terms of the Israeli forces trying to crush Gaza again, and then pulling back from doing it, as well as uh, being forced to sign a truce. Uh, as well as now the United Nations uh, designation of Palestine as the observer status nation. So, so, uh, once again, you can, you can reassert Palestine lives. One thing that uh, was brought up to me tonight that uh, I think a lot of people in this country don't realize is that Christians in Palestine are considered a minority as well and they're being denied access to their churches in Jerusalem. How come more U.S. churches aren't uh, on the side of the Palestinians? Uh, that's good. Well, some are. I mean, a few good uh, Unitarians and various congregations and groupings, but, but uh, some of them, some of them want to see all hell break loose in the Middle East, not because they're friends of anybody, Christians, Jews, or anyone there, but because it fits in with their conception of what the end of the world will be, and they want that, I guess, as soon as possible. So, uh, so I'm dubious about the support of some of those churches. Yeah, we're still here. But the ones that are genuinely trying to, you know, be humanitarian principles and so on, that they have to break with the policy of the U.S. government. You will see Palestine will be free from the river to the sea. Palestine will be free from the river to the sea. Palestine will be free from the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. Netanyahu, you will see. Palestine will be free. Netanyahu, you will learn. Refugees will return. Netanyahu, you will learn. Refugees will return. Netanyahu, you will learn. Refugees will return. Netanyahu, you will learn. Refugees will return.